All right, y'all. This is Janet and Greg, and we're headed to Death Valley Junction, right out Pahrump. Uh, we're on State Line and and 127, and we're near the Armagosa Opera House. There's a lot of history here. I'm going to tell you more about it. So come and join us. All right, folks, here we are. Death Valley Junction, we're at State Line Road, which we came out of Pahrump on Bella Vista, then it turns into Armagosa uh, Road, and then it goes to State Line Road. But this is Highway 127 here, and State Line Road, that's how we came in. There's the Armagosa Opera House. But actually, this little town was established in 1907 and a guy named Robert Tubb opened um, a saloon and a store and a brothel so this is what's left of the town now but it has a big history because that opera house was actually designed by Marta Becca Beckett and she was a performer. She was an amazing lady. Was a dancer, a performer, and she designed the opera house on the inside. And Marta did perform on Broadway in the Radio City Music Hall as a young lady. And in 1968, in this little theater across the street <laughs> she performed with only an audience of 12 so she started making murals of people sitting in the the seating and on the walls so that she felt that she had a big audience this lady was amazing here's a it was born in 1924, passed in 2017, so not very long ago. And this exhibit was put up on the 50th anniversary of the very first performance. So this exhibit has a lot of her outfits. The windows are so dirty you can't you know, hardly see. But she was something else and right now everything's shut down over there but i'm gonna walk over there just to get a better view in the front entrance but see here it says right there the exhibit inaugurated on saturday february 10th 2018 50 years to the date of our first performance but see see on this picture right here if you can see right there that's how she did the murals so she, it looks like she had a full audience every time she performed and all these outfits are original yeah it says original down here and that amazing amazing lady okay and yeah see the the armagosa opera house and cafe was built in 1923 okay that's pretty cool and they still have refurbished they have just recently refurbished the rooms but everything's kind of shut down um at this time but we're uh, wanting to show you whatever we can and we love it out here see this town see that might have been part of the an old gas station warehouse something but okay in celebration of Martha Beckett on your 90th birthday in honor of your love and, of art and dance and for your 50 years of devotion 
to Death Valley Junction. Thank you for your vision of preserving art of the past and for creating the most magical Armagosa Opera House. So that's pretty cool. Look at the, all the coins. A bunch of coins down here. See? Oh my. And then the little swan here. There's a whistle. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's pretty neat. And I think they have a another placard over here. So let's show you. Okay, yeah, historical crossroad has been used by Indians, clampers, Death Valley, 49ers, ranchers, farmers, settlers, tourists, you name it. But Tonopah, Tidewater, Railroad. Oh. Death Valley Junction had a rail service until 1940. At its peak, the town had a population of 300. Today, it's on the National Register for Historical Places. Yeah, that's what I figured that was. So, that's pretty cool. There goes Greg driving around. He's going to meet me over here. But we did, they do have a caretaker here. We drove by here before and um, talked to him. And normally it'd be like five bucks to do the little tour for the opera house. But right now everything's pretty much shut down. I don't know how long that will be. Not until California lets people open things back up. Since this is California. I wanted to show you these doors. That's really cool. And uh, imagine people all dressed up to coming out to see her. And they did have a big, big um, celebration. And I saw that on television. It's after she passed. And it's pretty cool. All the people that showed up. Okay, the Armagosa Opera House presents the original works of Marta Beckett, ballets and dance, uh, pantomimes, pantomimes. You know, I can't talk. <laughs> Performances vary through the season. See front desk for tours. Tire theater has been hand painted with murals by Marta Beckett. Yes. It's amazing. One of these days we'll be able to get in here. Let's see. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Pretty cool. Yeah. No tripods allowed, no commercial photography, and no drones. It's going to be closed until the end of August, it says. They do. Um, they're doing a campaign to raise funds so they can help them reopen. Yeah, here, let me just give you a quick look at this. And leave it out as you find it. It's, so, they do future reservations for the hotel here, too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it needs some work. They need the money if you want to donate. <laughs> Look at this fire hose. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Alright guys, this building apparently was built by Pacific Coast Borax Co Company in 1924. The original name was Cork Hill Hall. It was a social center for the junction between 1924 to 1948. Um, Cork Hill Hall was... Um, Cork Hill Hall was abandoned and then in 1967 Marta Beckett discovered the building and transformed it into the Opera House and it opened in February 10th 1968 but that's I didn't know that so this wasn't just built for her it was here already and she transformed it that's pretty cool